AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. AZ1 TV, let's get interactive on our social media platforms. Connect with us on Facebook and YouTube via AZ1 TV. Write something cool for us to read on WhatsApp. The number 057-239-9871. Tweet us at AZ1 TV and follow us on Instagram at AZ1 underscore TV. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. Viewers, you live on AC1 TV, your number one online TV in the world, and we're bringing to you an exclusive package as far as sports is concerned. This is the very first episode of Sports Connect, and you get this every Thursday night from 8 p.m. as we bring you exclusive interviews, intriguing interviews. You get to know your sports personalities, your favorite players, your favorite sports personalities live here on the show. My name is Christian Chiwese, a.k.a. Marino. You can also call me as a one. And this show is probably brought to you by Victor Electronics, where you could get all your home appliances at a very affordable price. You could locate them at home. You could locate them at Teta. You could also locate them at Hawkeye. And you could also locate them at Rejunction. Not forgetting Fruity Cup. You talk about smoothies. You talk about any juice. Just get to Fruity Cup, which is located along the Redeem uh, Trafalgar Road in the Vota Regional Capital, where you get to enjoy some smoothie with Fruity Cup. And we also have Jama Life Helpers Global. Use 35 Ghana cities and change your life. If you want to get in touch with Jama Life Helpers Global, which is a network company, a global one, of course, and a legit one, contact them on 024 9497 On the show today, I have as guest, we're going to take a look at his profile. We're going to bring you a lot of goodies from this particular guest. He's a center back for the Togolese national team. He plays in Egypt for Al Itihad. He's played in Ghana for Breakum Chelsea. We're going to learn more and know more about this special guest. His name is Wilson Akako. We go for a very short break. When we are back, you get to watch a little from Wilson Akako, then we're going to have him live here on Sports Connect. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Let's get interactive on our social media platforms. Connect with us on Facebook and YouTube via AZ1 TV. Write something cool for us to read on WhatsApp. The number 057-239-9871. Tweet us at AZ1 TV. And follow us on Instagram at AZ1 underscore TV. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected.
life on Easy One, One TV Sports, Sports Connect coming, coming your way. way. You just watch a little from Wilson Akago. We'll be showing you more from the center defender. He's a no nonsense central back. In fact, one of the best we have in the game. A lot of people are going to be asking why. Hasn't he been called to play for the senior national team? I don't know why he wasn't called, but he's currently playing for the Togolese national team. A lot of people asking him why is he not playing for Ghana, he's playing for Togo, and a lot of questions will be asking him. Without wasting much time, I'll be joined by Wilson Akako by Zoom this evening. Wilson, good evening, good to have you on Sports Connect Live here on Easy One TV. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Izzy. How are you doing, too? I'm very good. Salam alaikum. I know in Egypt you speak um, Arabic. Salam. You've been in Egypt for six years now. I... Uh, let me respond to you. You said? Uh, you just betrayed me. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. <laughs> okay, so that's just by the way. Good to have you. How is the family? And uh, congratulations once again. I understand you have a bouncing baby boy. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I have a bouncing baby boy who is 11 months old now. Wow, interesting. All right, so let's take it from COVID 19. I know you miss football. I'm not supposed to even be asking you this, but how, how much do you miss the game? Well, you know, whatever you love doing, when you are no more doing it, you feel like you've missed a lot. Yeah, as a matter of fact really miss people but we have no power to turn things around we just wait on god and we see the way forward life and health is more precious than any other thing so I have no option i just have to sit beside it and see what god will do all right uh, uh, so talking about the covid 19 pandemic how have you been liaising with your club how has training been with your club Alitad and yourself since you're here in Ghana? Yeah, our training has been good. Uh, we have programs uh, made us tied for our training. We, use, we normally use Zoom and sometimes we use uh, video recordings that we send across for the good to have a look at and then uh, assess us accordingly. And then sometimes we do have to weigh ourselves because each and every player have a specific weight that he normally uses uh, to play. So we'll be using Zoom twice a week, four times a week, four times a week. So we've been training each and every day. All right. Okay. So let, let's actually begin from how it all started for Wilson Akago. We know you've played for Hostel uh, uh, in the Division 1 League before you moved to join Breku Chelsea, you play for Breku Chelsea, you move to Al Masri in Egypt, you currently with Al Itihad, but I also understand you moved to Saudi Arabia on loan before you came back to Al Itihad, who you are currently with. But let's start, how did it start for you? Where did you start playing from? Which club did you play for before making it to the top? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, as the, the name goes, was in Akaku. I was born and bred in Po. Akaku is now capital. Uh, and I, I started, you know, there's a coach in Po who normally says that there cannot be a tree without two. And I started my career in Po Police Depot. Just uh, uh, area boys that become a small team called Shiny Star with the help of Inspector Yesu. Then from there, I moved to District Under Talk. Uh, who was coached by this team was coached by Togo B, Christopher Tumasi. All right, we went to Jazzy Gada. Was I read at who decided to use the boys as academy, which was named Walter Academy. Then I proceeded to MDIFC, but then I was in teacher training college. I proceeded to MDIFC from there to Hostel FC. By then, Hostel it wasn't Hostel, the name was Aristocrat. So I played aristocrat for a year, and the second year it was changed to Hostel FC, where I was made the captain of the team. And then that very year we were able to do something good. We went for the middle league, and then the 
preceding season, we were able to qualify to the National Division One League. So that's how I started my football career in both. So you played two seasons with Hostel FC and you finally got a chance to move to break Chelsea in the Ghana Premier League. I played four seasons with Hostel. I played four, four seasons in Hostel FC. Okay. Yes. Four seasons. And uh, Breakup Chelsea supported you, brought you to Breakup Chelsea, and you didn't play a full season with Breakup Chelsea, but from, from uh, what we saw, what we watched, you were very influential, you were outstanding. Tell us, how did it go with your time with Breakup Chelsea? Well, uh, before I moved to Brecon Chelsea, you know, the owner of Brecon Chelsea, Mr. Chairman, was a very good friend to uh, the bank owner of Hostel FC, that's in the person of Mr. Dixon Acostia. So during the Division One League, a lot of people spoke about me and then he also heard about me. By then, the Dambot FC were tracing me, but since he was a good friend to Mr. Acostia, he requested that you come for tryouts with the Queen Chelsea. And by then, you know, the Queen Chelsea, they were very hot. By then, they were playing in this Cup Champions League group stage. So you have, have big names there, but I went there, I tried with them. Then, by then, they were having a white man who was the coach, Hans van der Poon. So he, he recommended me the other coaches and said, oh, this guy is good. And then they took me. But the Queen Chelsea, I played two seasons. It wasn't that season, I played two. Good seasons with Brecon Chelsea before we went to Egypt. All right, so uh, that was from 2012 to 2014 before moving to the Egyptian League. Yes. How did they find you? How how did they find you? I'm talking about Al Masri. Who supported you for that big move to Al Masri? Well, Al Masri, before I went there, there was this agent who visited a friend. A playmate those days, and the name of this guy was uh, Samuel Cherry. But then he came back to join the consultancy, so he was my playmate. So his colleague, a friend who uh, who is an agent, traveled into the country and then he came to break home. But luckily for me, too, we were playing a league match against Santi Kotoko, and that match we 3 1 1 with Kotoko. So he saw me and then he told his friend, Oh wow, this guy is a very brilliant player, so I would like to take him to Egypt to God, have a trial. Now, you know, the friend was not happy with the decision. He wanted to push a friend for the move. But the man insisted and said, no, I said this guy is a good player, so I want to take him away. So he decided to stay back and watch another game to be convinced that I was a really good player. So we moved to play against Liberty Professionals at Dansoma. Then after the game, he told his friend that, no, this guy is a really good defender, so I have to take him away. So that's how come I moved to Egypt. So he came personally to Ghana to pick me to wow. Egypt. He did everything for me, got the ticket, visa, everything, and even accommodated me when I went to Egypt. When you got to Egypt, I know it was a total different atmosphere for you. How did you cope with the atmosphere with, with everything, everything in Egypt. In Egypt. How, How did you settle in? Well, it, it wasn't easy because moving from uh, your home country to a, 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 a country which you have no knowledge about the kind of food they eat, the language they speak, when you have no knowledge about it. But well, I went through training college system, so I know how it is. So when I went there, luckily to me, we four who went there, and then we were two who went to club to try. So at least having somebody to speak to wasn't a problem to me. So with that, I got that, that, that good feelings. Yeah. All right. So Al Masri, 2014. And uh, you finally got a call up to the senior national team of Togo. Were you expecting that call up? Were you planning to play for Togo or you were planning to play for Ghana? And why or how did you make that decision? Why play for Togo? Why didn't you play for Ghana? Well, as a matter of fact, I wasn't having any intention for any of the national teams to be sincere with you because 
what I, I went through when I was playing Brooklyn Chelsea. Uh, you know, when I was in Brooklyn Chelsea, my first season, I played only five matches. I was in the second round. That was called the local blasters. By then, we were preparing for this tournament in South Africa. That's Chan, South Africa. I was in the camp, we trained, we did everything. I played almost all, of, all the friendly matches in the camp. By the end of the day, I was dropped. And I felt, I felt some sort of pain because I knew I saw myself to be better off than some of the guys who were involved in the team. So I took a decision that I have to play for money. I have to play for my name, not national team. Okay, but I was in Egypt and then a scout came around. He tested me anyway on Facebook Messenger and then gave me the information that Togo wanted to invite me to play for the national team and i said oh wow that's a good news it's it's one thing you are invited that you go in so when it came i just discussed with my family with my wife then they all gave me the green light that's how come i opted for the hawks of two wow uh, with, with your time with the hawks of two how can you describe that that, that duration so far from 2008 to now two years you've been with the senior national team how is the feeling like playing in that yellow jersey for the national well, team i was i was with them from 2017 to 2019 and 2020 now okay i started so from 2017. okay the, the feeling was great i was welcome home you know even look at my name a couple most of them are from two so when I went there, the boys or the guys were very happy. They so so you, actually, you, actually have, you actually have you actually have you actually have your roots down in Togo, if I'm correct. Do you have your yeah, roots? my great grandparent, my great grandparent, that's Martin Alia from Togo. Okay. Okay, and, and so I have that link there. So it wasn't okay. difficult. It wasn't difficult connecting with them. Yeah. We'll come back to the national team, but how did it go with Al Masri? Why did you leave Al Masri to join Al Ittihad? Was there any problem, or you decided to move on and yeah. face a new challenge? You know, every player plays for money. You understand me? And then in Al Masri, I had financial problems. Aside that, too, when I was first called to the national team. The coach refused to allow me to go, and I wasn't happy with that decision. So I, I decided to go because the 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 the, the feel of every player is to have access to national team at least to upgrade the team. You understand me? So when the call up came, it became a tag call between me and the coach, the legend Bruce Sampasa. So when I left for the national team, I came back. We had problems coupled with the problems of finance. So I decided to move elsewhere and then continue with my. Career. That's how come I left Elma Street. I spent three and a half years there instead of four years. And you, you joined Al Ittihad. Do you still have the same problem? Because in Egypt, when, when you have players like that having issues with players moving to their senior national team, are you still facing that challenge with Al Ittihad? Yeah, when I went to Al Ittihad, my first six months. They were also having problems, relegation threats. So God being so great, when I went there, we were able to pull the club from relegation zone. So the preceding season, we started the season, and then the call up came again. Same problem I faced in the master, the same problem came up again. And when I left, I came back. The coach told me point back, when you go and come back, we didn't be part of our class again. So when I left, I came back. He took his decision and I have no problem with that. He's a coach. I can't fight him. I can't do anything. So I opted for loan. And then the president of the club, being a father to me, uh, granted me the request. That was how come I went to uh, Saudi Arabia for six months. And then I came back. Came back. We'll, okay. come back. we'll come back to the senior national team. But viewers, you live on AZ1 TV. And this is Sports Connect coming your way. You get to watch this every Thursday night from 8 p.m. exactly where we bring you intriguing interviews with sports personalities around the world. Show proudly brought to you by Victor Electronics, Fruity Cup, Simply Good, and of course we have Jama Life.
Hello, Bless Global, Jama Life is for Real, and of course, is for life. We're speaking to Togolese International, who is in Akago, who currently plays for Al Itihad in the Egyptian League. Now, back to you, Wilson. Let's talk about the senior national team. You are an integral part of the team that played the qualifiers but couldn't make it to the last African Cup of Nations. Were you disappointed not making it to the AFCON? Uh, trust me, my brother. I, I, I had tears all over my eyes the day we lost against Benin because that was my second match for the Hawks of Togo. And I had that, that, that deal and dream that we went to qualify so that I also have the opportunity to be at a camp that was uh, played in Egypt. But unfortunately, we, we lost that match against Benin. That was 2 1. I felt, I felt some sort of pain. Trust me, I felt some pain because it was a very good opportunity for me to also be at the camp, uh, camp 2019. Um, but unfortunately, it couldn't happen by that. That is simple. So the pain came instantly and then left it in. Uh, because I have the big boys there who were also trying to console me in the likes of Jen the Conan who plays for Gaddafi, and then our senior man, our legend, Emmanuel Shei Adebayo. At least they were able to encourage me and then motivated me that I was a good player, so no problem. I have more years ahead of me. Yeah. Tell, tell us a little bit, what, what words do you have for Emmanuel Shei Adebayo? Are you, are you disappointed? Like, you're not going to get a chance to play much longer with him? since he's retired from the senior national team. Do, do, do you guys miss him in the team? Yeah, we do miss him, we do miss him, but, you know, football, it takes from the number of years for you to retire. And um, I, I'm happy for him because he's seen a lot, he has seen a lot, and he's that good type. All I, I pray for him that God should still continue to protect him and then increase his blessings because he's a good, good man. I played with him twice. Uh, that was match against Algeria and then match against um, Benin. And it, I was okay, I was okay with that because it's not easy for you to get access to such people and play on the same pitch with them. So at least, even if it could be to be just a minute, I played with him. So I have to thank God. Because mm, when I started from the time I was hearing this name, Imano Shea, it wasn't today. So I wasn't disappointed. I only pray for God's blessings for him. Okay, now let, let's talk about uh, individual stuff. What, what are your favorite hobbies? What do you like doing outside football? Well, for me, I'm not a kind who goes out. Unlike colleagues who normally go for this fan fair and those things, me, I always stay indoors. The only place you can locate those in Akako is a football pitch. Okay. Aside that, I like reading books. I like reading books and then I'm not good at movies anyway, but I like reading books. No, no books, yeah, I mean, like, I used to read novels a lot. You, you could possibly be named captain of the Togolese national team because uh, you've captained almost every team you've played for, from Hotel to Al Al Masri to Al Itihad. You, you are currently the captain, if I'm correct. And I'm, I'm the fourth captain. Fourth. You're the fourth captain. Would you love to captain the senior national team? Well, for now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't jump into captaining a team. I'm too young to go for that uh, issue, right? Because I have a lot of seniors in the team. My current is to just create that, that pillar in the team. I have to be part and parcel of the team. That is the most important thing to me for now. But when it comes to captain issue, it, it's all about the technical team. I don't have to deal with captainship issues right now. I have a lot of people who are well qualified, well deserved to be captains of the Hawks of TV. So for that, let's just put it aside. Okay, so that is just by the way. Let's come back to the Ghana uh, Premier League here. We have a new FA boss. What, what do you make out of him? How will you rate Kex or Craig Wake in the game changer? Well, you just mentioned the name, the game changer. The game changer is the right choice. The 
Then the ten gates make. I think he has something good for Ghana football. He has already begun it, and then uh, it is my favorite player that whatever he has begun, he will do it and do it very well, so that we see the Ghana football that we knew for some time now come back to its normal. So are, are, are you impressed? with how things are unfolding? Are you impressed with him so far? Yeah. I've been I've been following Ghana football wherever I go to. I've been following Ghana football, and then so far so good, guys. He's he's doing very well. So far so. Good. All right. So would you would you actually love to come back to Ghana and play for any Premier League club before you hang up your boots? Well, should I come back to Ghana to play before my retirement? I have only one club. And that's my home club, the Kung Chelsea. You love to. They groomed me, and yeah, that's the only way I can thank it. I can thank them for making me who I am today. That's the only way I can thank them by coming back to play. Growing up as a player, you know, almost every player they have one iconic mentor, one player that inspired them whenever they're doing what they do best. For you, who's an Akaku? Which player inspired you to this moment? Well, for me, I've been a child, uh, Chelsea fan when I was a kid. So now I'm still a Chelsea fan. Not because my team way back in Ghana is looking Chelsea. No, I have been in love with Chelsea, England, long time. And then if I say Chelsea, one person comes to mind who I love to watch every time when he was in Chelsea. That's John Terry. Wow. John Terry. Wow. He's my uncle. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The legendary John Terry, currently with Aston Villa as an assistant coach. But let's come back to your contracts. Your, your contract will be ending any moment soon. Uh, what are the plans for the future? You want to extend it? You want to move to Europe? You want to still play in Egypt? Yep. Uh, uh, end of this month, I contract to expire with it. But before the start of the season, I was made to sign a new contract, but I, I rejected it because for now, I don't spend more than three years in the club. So I rejected the renewal. But I look forward to any other, any new offer that comes either from Egypt or outside Egypt. And the offer is good. Uh, why not? I'll jump to it. Do you have any offers so far? Any offers on the table so lots. far? I have lots. I have a lot of offers. Yeah, lots. I have a lot. And I'm still steady to be there with my agents. In Europe or in the Egyptian League or in Africa here? Everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> you don't want to give us, you don't want to give us leads. Tell us. I don't want to be, be us. specific. Yeah, no, that is that, that 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 is within me. All right. So what it means is at the end of your contract, we will see you playing for another club. Definitely, definitely. All right. So it means who's in Akaku's time with Ali Tihad? Uh, it's almost coming to an end. The love affair will come to an end this particular month. But that means if COVID-19 should actually run through, you've played your last game for Ali Tihad. Yeah, yeah. Um, though, though FIFA has made it clear that um, players can choose to extend their contract but i'm not ready to do that just after 30 years of this month uh, the love affairs between it and wilson has come to an end at the loss okay all right so that, that is your personal decision and i believe it will be respected uh by al itihad board and management but there are so many young stars coming up in Ghana here, especially in the Volta region. They know you so much. They look up to you. Anytime they want to watch you play, sometimes you come to the Volta region and you play with some of these young lads. What, what, what inspirational words do you have for them? What advice do you have for upcoming players among the ranks? Uh, 
uh, football goes with a lot of things. But first of all, they have to be uh, uh, disciplined. They have to be very disciplined. Without discipline, you cannot play football. And aside the discipline too, they have to be self-motivated. You know, sometimes I do hear that there's no hope All right, so, so we, we have, have a break, break in transmission. Uh, but it's not said that when you carry it on your shoulders, somebody will help you to raise it. They want to work hard and then God will help them. All right, so uh, he's actually saying that the player should be determined, self-discipline, they should work hard, and of course, God will help them. I, I really forgot. I heard you were once a teacher. Tell us about that one. Is that true? You were once a teacher or you were playing football alongside teaching? Yeah, I was in training college when I started playing this competitive football. I, I attended AP College of Education, I'm a job in Chotameko, uh, from 2006 to 2009. So I completed 2009 and I became a professionally trained teacher who taught for three years in Alican School in Abu Sulaim before moving to Brekum to continue there in Brekum, uh, best senior high school. And then I also taught for two years before leaving to Egypt. So I'm a professionally trained teacher. Did you see yourself probably going back to being a lecturer or a teacher? Probably after hanging up your boot. Or what are your plans after hanging up your boot after football? What do you plan to do? Well, currently I'm still going through a lot of online courses. I'm not just sitting idle. Okay. I do a lot of courses online. Who knows football you know the truth of football life is it has no retirement benefit so whatever you do you do it from today so you retire from football so should anything happen to me in future and i decide to quit the football since i have my certificate there why not i enjoy teaching anyway so still i'll come back and then help the younger ones well, well thanks, thanks so much for your time this evening. It's, it's actually been lovely having you in the very first episode of Sports Connect. But before I leave you, what words, what message do you have to your fans watching you around the world? Well, I will use this platform to thank them very much for their support, their prayer, and their motivation. Anybody who goes on his or her knees to pray for me, just for me to climb the ladder of success, I pray that may the Almighty God bless each and every one of them. Uh, let me use this opportunity to say hello to my wife and my kid uh, for their support because we said for every successful man, there's a, a, a good the woman, if I'm not quoting it right. To the big mama herself. Yes. So, so I say hello to her this evening, that's Grace of Akako, and my little boy, Emmanuel Leon Akako. To my mom, Mary Akako, and my siblings, all in home. Uh, to all my friends, all my friends, I can't mention names, and I have my own area manager with me right here, in the name of Joshua, aka Rama. I say hello to him as well. I pray also that the Sports Connect, which has been your, your vision, will go a long way to bring good to you as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wusana Kako. Yetakbele, Ukwe Eita, Eza Nenyono. All right, so uh, we just moved to Wusana Kako. I believe by now all our viewers should know more about the Tobulis International currently playing for Al Ittihad in the Egyptian League. He made it clear his contract it's coming to an end this month, and uh, that might be the last time we've seen him played in the Egyptian League. So this first connect that came your way live here on Easy One TV. Get to follow us on all our social media handles. Before I leave, I'll actually give out our handles once again. 
uh, so that you could follow us, get to watch Sports Connect. Uh, even if you miss the live show on Facebook, you get to watch uh, the replay on our YouTube channel. But let me thank our sponsors this evening. Victor Electronics, where you could get all your whole appliances at a very affordable price. You them at RTC near the GCB Bank. You could also locate them at Civic Center in the Motor Regional Capital. So that copy, you could also locate them at Keta and Hawkway Zongo beside Old Tingo Office. Look, contact them on 055 or 024 2959795. Victor Electronics, of course, they are on the, uh, the website. Their website is actually victorelectronicsonline.com. We also have a uh, fruity cup where you can get your smoothies, your fruit juice, your milk, milkshake, and uh, locate them along the renamed Trafalgar Road in the Buta Regional Capital. Not forgetting Jama Life Helpers Global. With Jama Life, 35 Ghana cities will actually change your life, your whole story. Get to know more about Jama Life. Log on to their website, jamalifehelpersglobal.com and read more about this network company. If you want to get to know more, contact them on 024-9497-904. My name is Christian Chikweze, aka Marino, on Facebook. You can actually follow us, like our page, AZ1 TV, on YouTube, is AZ1 TV, and of course, on Instagram, is at AZ1 underscore TV, and on Twitter, is AZ1 TV. Thanks so much for joining us. Next week, we'll be back with another special personality. We're we'll bringing you an interesting one. She's a lady. Stay tuned for that one. Don't miss it. We'll be back. Thanks so much, and good night. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected. AZ1 TV, let's get interactive on our social media platforms. Connect with us on Facebook and YouTube via AZ1 TV. Write something cool for us to read on WhatsApp. The number 057-239-9871. Tweet us at AZ1 TV. And follow us on Instagram at AZ1 underscore TV. AZ1 TV, it's time to get connected.